Welcome to another edition of Our Kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. And I'm Nancy Ostrak. And today we are going to be making a red velvet cake and fresh tomato sausage uh, pecorino pasta and a cheddar corn bran muffin. And I'm going to start first off with my red velvet cake. And in my bowl here I have I have to you sift um, a half a cup of cocoa powder, two and a half cups of flour, a teaspoon of soda, and a half a teaspoon of um, salt, and you mix that up first. In my next bowl here, I have a I have to beat up butter and granulated sugar in my bowl. I guess I have to say this is a three bowl cake. In my next bowl here, I have four cups of gran I have um, two sticks of butter, which I have in here with my um, sugar. In this one, I have a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of milk, one bottle of red food coloring, and two teaspoons of uh, vanilla extract. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all together, hopefully. Get this in my... have a little bit in here, so I'll take this out first. I don't know why I did that. I have to use the beaters again anyway. Crack four eggs. Can I put in my red food coloring mixture? This is what the red food coloring mixture looks like. It looks pretty red. You have to be careful when you're mixing that all up that you don't get have it in my hair. <laughs> I'll get it in my hair and all over my kitchen and all over everything. I'm not, I don't, I'm not very careful sometimes. Okay. Here goes, so stand back. <laughs> oh, I know it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm standing back. I don't know if you are or not. <laughs> That's where I get it all over the kitchen when I'm taking the beater out. Oh, gosh. Okay. 
And this is what it looks like before I put it into my pans. Going over the recipe where we're starting and we're realizing this is not a cheap place to make. No, <laughs> it isn't. The, red, the food coloring itself was $4.29. That's not uh, very good. I prepared two pans here, and what I used was I used pan baking uh, with flour and oil in it, which is a lot easier than um, spraying it and then putting the flour on. Now, what you do is you Put your cake in your pans. Try to get them as evenly as you possibly can. Then you whack them on the counter. Make them even. make sure they're nice and even when you put them in the oven. Oh, look at here. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> this comes all over. You like to play with your food, don't you? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> kind of looks like it. And you put these cakes into a 350 oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Now back to Nancy, I'm going to put these in the oven. Well, Gordy's cakes are baking. I'm going to start my fresh tomato, sausage, and pecorino pasta dish. Large fry pan. Two teaspoons of uh, olive oil. I'm going to saute around eight ounces of Italian, sweet Italian sausage. And I am using turkey sausage. I've been able to find the bulk um, when I was out of town. Down here I find the uh, Links of Italian turkey sausage. Well, that all you, all you have to do is just t um, take the casings off. Yeah. Yeah. Brown this up. Break it up. With, and add one cup of diced white onion. recipe says this is going to take about four minutes, four or five minutes, so just sit down. I love the smell of onion and anything you, you cook with onion, don't you? Onions and peppers and oh, I love that. Yeah. Makes your kitchen smell so good. <laughs> At least you're not getting red food coloring on you all over you. So. To look good. Yeah. This is quite an easy recipe and it doesn't take very long to put together. Gordy, I think if you'll continue to stir this sure. for me. I will do that. I think I'm going to start um, putting my corn muffins together. Mmm, so this smells good. Have you made this before? I've made something similar to similar that, to this with the turkey sausage. Mm -hmm. Corn muffins. Uh, 
I decided to kick it up a notch. With a little bam. <laughs> <laughs> Plain corn muffins can be kind of bland. Turkey sausage is a lot healthier for you than um, ground beef. Pork. Or pork. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to put in one cup of This recipe can, you can use the, like the Jiffy corn muffin mix all ready made up. I had cornmeal, so I'm going to use that. So one cup of cornmeal. Two tablespoons of sugar, and I'm using Splenda. Four teaspoons of baking powder. Smells good. It smells good. Here. And one teaspoon of salt. This is almost ready, Nancy. Okay. A little, couple little pieces in here that are still red. So I've mixed together one cup of all-purpose white flour, one cup of cornmeal, two tablespoons of sugar, and I use Splenda, four teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And I think I'll leave this uh, for the moment and get back to my turkey sausage. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic. This time I have the garlic that's already minced to keep in the refrigerator. Or you can use fresh garlic. And then I'm going to stir in, the recipe calls for one and a quarter pounds of chopped fresh tomato. And I, when I measured it out, it came to about um, three cups, just under three cups of tomatoes. tomatoes. Whatever I didn't use a particular kind of tomato. It didn't call for anything special. So I used what was looked good in the market. Of course, this is winter time, and they're not fresh garden tomatoes. That's for sure. They aren't as good as fresh garden. Match your garden tomatoes. So we're going to let that cook down for a couple of minutes. the corn muffins. Now, this is the bowl with the dry ingredients. Now I have another bowl. It's going to have two eggs, slightly beaten. One 
one cup of milk, 1%, 2%, whatever you're used to having in the house, and a quarter of a cup of melted shortening or vegetable oil. And I like to use canola oil. this into the dry ingredients and this is one of the recipes where they say make a well in your dry ingredients pour the liquid into the center and then mix it Already overbeat it. Don't overbeat it. Mix it up. <laughs> now what I'm going to do to kick it up a notch, as they say, is I'm going to add. slices of crumbled crisp bacon and one half cup of shredded cheddar cheese and I'm using the lower fat 2% milk uh, ingredient in the cheese. So I'll give it a little extra Okay. <laughs> okay, now you can make an 8 inch or 9 inch square pan with this or you can make uh, 12 muffins and you're going to, you bake them at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Go back to my sausage and uh, tomatoes now. It looks like it's ready to continue with the recipe. The recipe called for penne pasta to go with this. Well, I had some extra spaghetti, but I always cook too much spaghetti when I'm making other recipes. And I said, well, let's try. I want to use up the spaghetti, so I'm going to use that instead of the well, That tastes just as good as it was in the penny. Do you want to put it back in the blue pan, Nancy? No, I'm just Oh, you're just going to put it in there. Okay. So I'll put in what I think because the recipe called for eight ounces, so it's mm -hmm. a half a pound of whatever kind of pasta you decide to use. Right. I always have lots of spaghetti left over. Yeah. Then I have a leftover night. <laughs> All the things that pull out of the... Are you good at making up your own recipes? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I put them together. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a little bit more. See, I still have plenty of pasta. Mm, that looks very good. Finish it off. We want some salt and pepper to taste. Yeah. I've been using kosher salt lately. Kosher salt? Yeah. And they use that a lot on the TV and mm. the cooking shows. 
I, I like sea salt. I use that quite a bit. It's the, the more the coarser, it's a little mm. bit coarser than kosher salt. And of course, brown pepper. And lastly, to put in the pasta and then put on top is some Pecorino Romano shredded cheese. A nice splurge. Tim bought some. Did you buy a square of it or a block of it block or something? Of it, yes. Yeah. That's almost expensive as a as a red food <laughs> coloring. <laughs> Three tablespoons to put in the pasta mixture. Stir it up. Mm, that smells, looks good. And we'll let that sit for a while. And while I'm ready, uh, put the cornbread into muffin tins. I think we'll take a break and we'll be back with you when Gordy's um, cakes are out of the oven and cool. So we'll be back. Back to our uh, baking today. I made a red velvet cake and I'm going to make a cream cheese frosting for this. In my bowl I have a box of um, confectionery sugar. I have two teaspoons of vanilla. Package of cream cheese. Uh, light cream cheese and two sticks of uh, margarine and two tablespoons of um, sour cream and I'm going to mix it all up. You have to beat this for a little while to get the lumps out. If I sifted the confectionery sugar, it wouldn't have any lumps in it. But I just took it out of the box. So I'm going to make sure I get all the sugar out of here. It looks like it's going to be runny. I don't know if anybody's ever seen any of these before. These are the new holders that they have out. It's a new kind of a material. And you put your hands on and you can stick them in the oven and take out your baked goods or whatever you've got in there. And it works better, a lot better than a holder. I got these in my stocking for Christmas. Cake is still a little bit warm, so I'm sure it's going to run a little bit. It'll taste just as good. And you put on your other layer. And you frost this one. run. It's going to fall right off. Of 
What I need is a spike. <laughs> It's still a little warm, but it's still and it's still going to run a little bit. But that can't be helped, I guess, today. I'm just gonna let it drip over. It's really coming off. Okay, it came right off. As I said, it was a little warm and it ran a little bit. But that's what it looks like, and it will taste just as good if it didn't run. That's it. Well, my muffins are done, and uh, the pasta is done, and the cake is done, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, we're back at our table. Our, our dinner is finished, and it was quite an undertaking with three things that we did today. Um, I started, we started the meal with uh, a pasta, sausage, and fresh tomato dish uh, topped with uh, some pecorino romano cheese. And then I made uh, corn muffins, uh, and I kicked them up a notch, as we say, because I took a regular um, corn muffin recipe, and you can even use uh, the package like Jiffy, but I added a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and about four slices of crisp crumbled bacon to my uh, muffins uh, just to give them a little more flavor because sometimes corn muffins can be a little uh, taste the taste isn't really uh, that good sometimes tasty but it needed something needed else. a little something yeah. a little more flavor, flavor. <coughs> so um, and then Gordy I'm going to turn it over to you to talk about your cake Today I made a red velvet cake, and I it's made out of with cocoa and flour and baking soda. I used two sticks of Promise, and I used two cups of um, Splenda sugar, and I used a uh, light sour cream, and I used, um, what I use for milk is I use skim milk, and um, a whole bottle of red coloring. And then I made a uh, vanilla cream cheese frosting of um, low-fat cream cheese and a half a stick of butter. And I made this, um, tried to make this with low-fat for people that would like it. And if anybody would like any of these recipes, please send a self-stamped addressed envelope to Dalton Community TV, 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Mass. And that's all from our kitchen today. Hope you had liked our kitchen show today and have a great day.